what if you already know a language and how do I learn another one if I know two languages? That's not a disadvantage, it's actually an advantage. Let's talk about it. How can knowing two languages already, um, how can that help you in learning another language? Or you feel like, you know what, I only know English. How can I learn another language if I only know English? Well, here's a, here's a tip for you. Uh, assuming you know English, let's start with one language. English is, in my opinion, I call it a bastard language. We don't know who its daddy is. It's probably of Germanic or origin but we don't really, I mean, it's just a mixture of everything. They just, they kind of stole from everybody and everything. A lot of your words that you use on a daily basis are actually based off of other words. Kindergarten, for instance, that's a German word. Uh, louver, for instance, that's a French word. Um, croissant, that's a French word. A lot of the things that we talk about that we use on a daily basis, they incorporate from other languages, several other languages, some from India, some from Germany, and so on and so forth. Now, knowing that, this really helps you a lot in terms of learning a new language. When you say kindergarten, kinder is actually child, kid, child. But see, but you already have that information in you because you already know what kindergarten means. So don't look at just knowing one language, which is English, as a uh, disadvantage. Oh, I can't learn anything and so on and so forth. Chances are you actually know a lot of words in other languages already. Major, minor, just all depends. But you probably know a lot of words in those languages already. Now, if you know two languages already, for example, English and Spanish, it becomes easy to pick up a third or a fourth because your brain is already wired to think in two different languages already. So it's not too hard to create a new category of thinking in a third language. Um, if you know Spanish, for instance, Italian will be easy to pick up. Uh, Latin will be somewhat easy to pick up. Portuguese will be somewhat easy to pick up because you, French will be somewhat, somewhat easy to pick up because the, a lot of the words in, these lang in, in Spanish are actually the same and similar to, la to a lot of the words in the other languages. If you know another language, for example, English and Yoruba, let's just say it's not Spanish. Let's say it's not grouped into, it, you don't know a language that's part of the romantic languages, which I've, from what I've understood, it doesn't mean they're romantic. It actually means that they're romanized language, they're spoken in Rome a lot or something like that. You know, correct me if I'm wrong. So you may find yourself in a situation where I don't know Spanish, I don't know a language that's grouped into a, a romantic language or Indo Persian language or whatever. I don't know a language like that. And you know, how do I learn? How do I, how do I pick up a third one? You know, and here's the thing. Each language has its own unique ways and a unique thing about it. It could be the pronunciation. For example, my native language is Yoruba and the pronunciation, it's a very musical language. In fact, all our letters, they go in do, re, mi, and the way you pronounce that letter, if it's either in a do, re, mi form, so it could be ogun, ogun, ogun. And just by, just by the way you pronounce them, it, has, it makes it have a different meaning. But because of that, this really helps me in acquiring a language like Chinese. They have four tones, we have three. So I, I understand the concept of, oh, a high tone, mid tone, low tone, and how it could mean different things. So you may not be able to get the language right away, but the skeletal structure, the concept, things like that, these are the things that are very important building blocks in learning a language. You can get these things, you can understand these things, not difficult at all. So having another language, try to look for the similarities or the advantage of having this language you know, uh, that could help you in picking up a third one. Could it be the tonal, the way it's all to the tones in your language? Could it be the structure? Instead of, you know, I am going to school, perhaps in your language, if you translate it directly, it's actually school going to am I. That might actually be the same structure another language has. So yeah, think about these kind of things. These kind of things, they help you out. So whether it is you just know English or you, you, you have to know something. It could be something. You can't say you don't know anything. You're just talking, right? So you know English or you know Spanish or you know uh, German or whatever the case may be. You have a basis 
for learning another language and it's actually easier than you think because some of that stuff is already downloaded in you. You use it a lot, you've heard it a lot. Who does not know, who does not know what Coca-Cola means? Everybody knows what Coca-Cola means, right? It's almost universal. We know what that means, right? So you start to find out things like this and you also find out that in other languages, they actually use the English form of a word. They use that as it becomes part of the language. You don't have to like learn something special for that. Microsoft is Microsoft everywhere. Coke is Coke everywhere. Pepsi is Pepsi everywhere. It, it, it's just, you might find a language may have 10% of what they say is just in English already. It's the English word for that. So don't be discouraged. Having one language, having two languages, having three, these can all help you form a basis for understanding and acquiring a new language. Thanks again for subscribing. You know, speaking of learning languages, you'll never believe these three easy tips to boost your language acquisition skills. Head on over to fluentfriendsonline.com, sign up and we will send you an exclusive video. This is not on YouTube and best of all, it's free directly into your inbox. If you like what you're seeing so far, subscribe, hit the like button, Thumbs up, thumbs down. If you want to see that exclusive video, the link is in the description below. Thanks again for watching. Spasiba, arigato, kamsameda, oshe, shia shia. Bye.